I'm Koji Kiyotaka, the smartest in classroom elite, trained within the white room. But what would happen if you were trained by L, the world's greatest detective? Would he surpass all successes within Whammy's house? Before we start, please subscribe, close to 30k, let's get into the video. To start this scenario, we need to delve into detail of what exactly Whammy's house is, and just how a child ends up at Whammy's house. And because canon Whammy's house is, like, super boring, I'm going to use Change the World info just because it's more fun, so we'll use the canon BB manga slash anime and CTW info from the Japanese movie timeline, plus the Japanese movie, plus the novel. Whammy's house is one of the numerous orphanages created by Quillish Whammy, also known as Watari. It was established in Winchester, England, as a training institution for exceptionally gifted children. El Lawliet was the most accomplished of these children. Following El's success as a detective, Whammy's house goal became to nurture talented children to become a successor to El. The difference between the white room and Whammy's house is that the former's goal is to prove that becoming a genius isn't based off genetics, but rather how you are nurtured from the moment you are born. The latter's goal, however, is to simply produce a successor to El Lawliet, the greatest detective to ever live to become a student of the White Room. It was said in Volume Zero that the children for each generation of the White Room are gathered through various ways, either taking in orphan children, which Japan is known for its recent increase in, or the unwanted children or parents who have various positions of power in the world, such as celebrities, politicians, and even wealthy businessmen. From there, the children are raised until they are deemed ready to start their curriculum. Wami's house is entirely different, however. Mello, a successor for L, and the narrator for the L.A.B.B. Murder Case novel gave us a few clues regarding how a child ends up at Whammy's house. The person in question used is none other than Beyond Birthday, the perpetrator behind the L.A.B.B. Murder Investigation. Beyond Birthday lived his life unceasingly, reminded that all humans would eventually die. From the time he was born, he knew the day his father would be attacked by a thug and die. He knew the day his mother would die in a train crash. He had these eyes before he was born, which is why he called himself Beyond Birthday. Which is why a child as strange as he was, was taken in by our sweet home. This seems to imply that BB was specifically taken in because of the kind of child he was. Which really supports the notion that Whammy's house is an institution specifically seeking to raise gifted slash abnormal children. With clear purpose too. As explained above, Watari gathered various children from around the globe, the purpose being to try and replicate El's brilliance. It's most likely that depending on the child, they were also gathered for a specific criteria. Even though Whammy's has a specific goal in mind, not every child of the institution is meant to be a successor for El. A good example would be a minor character in Death Note by the name of Linda, a student of Whammy's and a child who was proficient enough in art to give a detailed sketch of Nier and Mello's facial features to Aizawa and Matsuda. Linda went on to become a famous artist due to her passion and and skills she learned at Whammy's. That's why it says that Whammy's teaches the gifted kids in accordance to their abilities and potential. So with that covered, now we need to discuss the education and curriculum that Whammy's house provides for its students and go over how Ainikoji would handle it. But before that, I have to thank DreamPal AI for making this video possible. These facilities may have great education, but DreamPal AI has various anime characters or more to interact with and gather information from. Like the recent Aaron Yeager edition, you can literally hear his own voice. Unlike most AI websites, they have a section for assistance where you can get assistance in areas that you may need anything for, or something that you'd need to hire someone for. For instance, people do actually hire people to write emails for them due to wanting the emails to look more professional, just because they don't have a lot of experience. There's also a whole community around the website. They are held in a Discord server, but they also make their own AI characters, which also means you can too. You can add your own custom character that maybe is from a less known series like an indie light novel or a game. You can create avatars using just 5 photos, one of the most efficient avatar generations on the whole scene of these websites. Through just a couple selfies or anime character photos, video games or even comics, overall any medium. If you want to get a bit spicy with any character, you can do that too if you want to try some riz or something. All this will be linked in the description, and you can be as creative as you want, create your own characters, literally. After playing around with the website, consider joining their Discord too to interact with others, maybe end up collabing with others to make unique creations. It's stated in L Change the World that Whammy's house invites university professors, researchers, and top specialists in their field from around the world to give individual instruction to the children based on their abilities and potential. The curriculum itself is unique in the sense that everything taught at Whammy's is for a specific goal in mind. Depending on your passion 
as a student, you'll be given a curriculum to adhere to in order to reach your goal. As stated beforehand with Linda's passion for art, Anikoji will be a student attempting to be a candidate to succeed L. And so, to succeed L, you would need to be qualified in multiple academic subjects and the specific skills that Wami's House teaches. Wami's House training in itself is no slacker, as although the White Room is superior in terms of extracurricular activities and just how diverse the learning is, Wami's House education has let its students perform amazing feats. Some notable feats from its top students include Elle, who received the same score as Light Yagami on the 2004 To'o University exam. It was even more amazing that he still received a high score despite having to sit normally while taking the exam. It has been said that if he does not sit in the unique way he does, his deductive skills will decline by at least 40%, which could be a lie, but even so he did this with a different education compared to Light Yagami, the same score and everything on the entrance exams. Toto University is also one of the hardest exams, entrance exams in like the whole of Japan, 36th ranked in the world. Nier himself is shown to have consistently scored first in the general examination and assessment curriculum of the fourth generation of the Whammy's House. In order to scale the quality of this feat, it should be safe to assume that the tests are quite extensive and complex in metric. After the reader sees Mello, who scored second, studying with dozens of books around him. Additionally, as per strictly canonical information applicable from the novels, it is also made clear that the children at Wemmy's house, based on their skills and interests, are provided with some of the best education available worldwide, and get to learn from talented experts, university professors, and professionals of all fields, so as to make them well-rounded and knowledgeable in all kinds of different spheres. Melo left Wami's house at 15, with the knowledge and teachings of the institution, he travels to America and quickly soars up to the top ranks of a huge criminal gang, eliminating mafia bosses which were beyond Kira's reach, as mentioned by his recently subordinated mobsters. Having witnessed his incredible intellectual skills and capabilities, the members of the mafia quickly come to trust and respect Melo, and thus submit to his lead, giving him the tools and fuel he requires to become number one. As for Beyond Birthday, he created a murder case that not only was so complex, the first murder scene alone was made up of 30 lines of reasoning in the novel. But the case itself was designed to be unsolvable and to defeat L, the man he was raised to surpass. Now that we've established the quality of the training, and sprinkled some notable feats from its best students, we'll be covering two scenarios. The first scenario will be Ainokoji and how he would perform in the fourth generation of Bimeus, or more commonly known as the generation Nier and Mello were in. The second scenario will be more discussion based and delve into how Anikuchi would perform in the first generation of Whammies, or the generation that Beyond Birthday was a part of. So to start, what are the differences when it comes to the generation of Whammies House? The different generations. There aren't any notable differences, like how in Classroom Elite, each generation has a focus. The fourth generation that Anikoji was a part of was solely focused on individualism, while the fifth generation that Yagami and Ichika are a part of focused on communication and collaboration, which are interpersonal skills. However, one thing that both institutions share is that the difficulty level can vary. The difficulty for the first generation of Whammy's house is pretty crazy. With it being so extreme that not only was it expected to be a complete failure, but it caused a student to commit suicide. This was because he couldn't handle the pressure of succeeding L, and yet Beyond Birthday was able to survive in the generation and adapt to its teachings. Similar to how Anikoji was able to survive and adapt to the fourth generation of the White Room. The fourth generation, however, is shown in the anime and manga to be much calmer compared to the first generation. Children are like depicted in the anime and manga as laughing, playing, and having a good time, or being a part of the fourth generation. Aside from Nier and Mello, there were successful pupils from this age who went on to achieve great things, with Linda being the most recognized from the fourth generation in the eyes of the public. The competitive aspect of the generation is still prevalent, even if from a mental health aspect it's calmer. However, with Nier and Mello often competing to see who can be the best, the curriculum is quite lengthy for Whammy's House as it ranges from humanities, social sciences, criminal psychology, political science, applied sciences, formal sciences, and much more. Now that's been covered, what would Ainikoji do when it comes to learning all of this information? At first glance, it might seem quite overwhelming to some to be able to master topics from all these academic subjects which are taught at a PhD level in the CTW novel. Due to Ainikoji's insane learning ability, adaptability and memory, it's really insane. In volume 0 of Classroom Elite, it's revealed that Ainikoji can perfectly recall his whole life and memories and put them into words. He can also select and store the memories he deems necessary. Research has shown that babies are capable of learning and remembering while they're still in the womb. 
However, it was previously believed that the ability to learn during infancy is very unripe and unstable, and that memories cannot be fixed. Alternatively, memories are stored, but as they develop, they are buried in the depths and cannot be retrieved. It was thought of to be one or the other. Koji can retrieve his memories even from infancy without difficulty. This gives him a memory advantage of many years, and this is also related to his overwhelming learning ability slash adaptability. Anakoji's understanding of various subjects goes far beyond what an average person could hope to learn in a lifetime. His extensive knowledge base allows him to approach problems and challenges from multiple angles, drawing on a vast pool of information with such a deep well of knowledge, Koji is able to come up with creative and innovative solutions to complex problems. A good example would be Ichika stating in Year 2 Volume 4 the curriculum that Anikoji took when he was only 10 years old included Systems Theory based on Project 5, and at the age of 11 it was Theory of Relativity based on Project 7. General Relativity is taught to students who major in Physics in their fourth year of a bachelor's degree or their freshman year of master's degree. The fact that Anikoji was learning subjects taught in college at such a young age is insane. But what is even more mind-boggling, that his ability to learn, adapt, and memorize was so monstrous that the instructors of White Room couldn't come up with an explanation for it. They were running out of things they could teach him, and these instructors were stated to be selected as masters of their chosen fields, who obviously have decades of experience in the subject they're teaching, Ainokoji. With this in mind, Ainokoji would be able to study efficiently at Wami's house, as he would be able to use his anonymously type innate ability to learn new concepts and adapt to his environment during his time, like the white room. So basically, Ainokoji is a huge anomaly, and being in Wami's house education would be extremely easy for him because he's able to just absorb all of it. Now that we've gone over this, we need to discuss whether or not Ainokoji would be considered a candidate to exceed L. To be qualified as a successor to L, it would mean you're qualified to not only become the greatest detective in the world, but the greatest mind. This would include having mastery over the subjects you've been taught while at Whammy's. With that, Ainakoji would more than easily qualify, as he was a master at the topics given to him in the White Room. The subjects taught at Whammy's are more than possibly superior, as due to the quality of researchers and professors, but this really wouldn't make much of a difference, as stated before, the rate at which Ainakoji can comprehend information and perfect it is insane. Ainakoji would be considered a successor to L, alongside Nero and Mello, and would be able to successively adapt and study in the fourth generation of the White Room. But what about the first generation? Scenario B, Ainakoji is in the first generation. The first generation of Whammy's house was known as BB's generation. While we might presume the curriculum was similar to that of subsequent generations, I believe it was much more difficult than that of the subsequent generations. So difficult that everyone in Whammy's first generation was considered a prototype. It was so extreme that another child in B's, short for BB Beyond Birthday generation, known as A, committed suicide. B, on the other hand, did not yield to the pressure and was able to complete the curriculum and graduate before becoming a serial killer that faced off against L and Death Note another note. So, in an environment so extreme that not only causes orphans to commit suicide, but also to go off to become a serial killer, how would Ainakoji fare? I firmly believe Ainakoji would yield to the pressure of the first generation of Whammy's house. Ainakoji has experienced what it's like to be at a disadvantage and live in a hopeless environment. The fourth generation itself was completely unloving towards the children and was given the beta curriculum, which is level 10. The curriculum is the hardest in all of the white room. It was only used once. This is because it was so difficult that it goes beyond the human limit. To put it into perspective, the researchers of the White Room created a curriculum for the students that were composed of 10 levels. After much trial and error, they came to the conclusion that the 5th or 6th level is the human limit. Anikoji's generation was at least twice the recommended level, and yet he was able to survive and adapt until not a single child was left. Anikoji became the sole survivor of the demonic 4th generation of the White Room. With this information in mind, surviving the first generation of Whammy's house may prove to be difficult, but it's still possible. As a reminder, he was getting beat by Shiro, mind you, for a long time, and eventually he climbed up and surpassed Shiro. Someone who was basically always better than Ainokoji during his time in the White Room at a young age. So, in Whammy's house first generation, it would just be an adaptability game, and he'd slowly climb. And of course, he would still go on to become a candidate as a successor to El Lolia. With this, we've gone over all the scenarios in mind for this what if, and have come to the conclusion regarding the generation Ainokoji is placed in. He'd be able to adapt and achieve great things, and possibly become the world's greatest detective, the greatest mind on the planet.